Hello, this is Rick with the Old Man Tech Channel. Back at you with another video. What you see here in front of me is a blower. It's a dual fan blower. A friend gave it to me a while back. I figured I'd probably use it for a cooling fan someday, even though it was missing a power cord. I stuck it down in the basement. You know how you do with some of them projects you think you're going to do later on. Well, one night I decided I was going to clean out my basement. So there I looked at it, seen it was missing a power cord, and figured I didn't want to fool with it. Sometimes you don't want to fool with things. So I threw it away into a commercial dumpster that was out in front of my house at the time. Well, as fate would have it, a few days later I realized it did have a need for the thing. Went out and was lucky enough to find it and dig it back out of the dumpster. S stick around in the video a little bit later on and I'll show you what I actually had to use it for. Anyway, I, I pulled it apart already and put a new power cord on it. I figured this would be a good opportunity to show how to dismantle, clean, adjust, and reassemble this type of blower. So we will proceed now with the disassembly. Okay, we're going to start by removing these fan covers. There's a couple screws holding it on. Pull this one off, flip it around, take this side off, Okay, now what you want to do is remove your fan. Just come in through one of the openings on the fins. And loosen up the set screw. Pull that off. Now it's not a bad idea at this point to mark your assemblies so you don't get confused. We got an A and we got an A. Do the same thing on the other side. Loosen up the set screw. Pull the fan off. We'll mark this a, a B. And a B. I'm going to leave this side on here. These brackets support the motor in the opening. So I'm going to take this one off on this side, the A side. Now you have access to the motor. You can see where I put the power cord on. I just had a couple crimping connectors and I crimped it and then uh, of course taped it and then I put a bunch of tape on this end so that the cord wouldn't pull through over here in this opening. Okay. Now originally I had this apart. Like I said, I don't know what it came out of. I'm guessing it might have been some kind of uh, restaurant uh, 
cooker or something because these fins were just coated with grease and grime. So what I did was I got a couple brushes, an old toothbrush, and this actually worked the best. It's a straight bristle brush. And I used very hot water and I used some Dawn dish soap. Now I tried a variety of methods. I tried gasoline, I tried brake cleaner, tried solvent, you named it. Nothing seemed to touch it. The best thing that worked was in the kitchen sink with uh, some really hot, hot water and some Dawn and uh, got her all cleaned up. So that's how you take it apart and clean her up. I'll put her back together show you how to adjust it. Bring that cord up there to where it's supposed to be. Stick the motor through. I'm going to lay this down on the edge of the table so I know I got that centered in there. Put this cover on couple screws in it. Okay, motor's back in the case. This is the tricky part, you want to adjust it. Now there may be some inherent, uh, I'll tighten this side up a little bit. There may be a little play in this motor, who knows how old it is, but as you can see, there's about a quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch side to side play in that thing. So you got to bear that in mind when you put your fans back on. We'll start with side B. Slip that on the shaft loosely. Now because you've got play in these, if I were to bring the shaft this way and push this all the way on and tighten it, the fan's going to rub on the case. So here's where the tricky part is. You want to push the shaft all the way to the other side. You would be stubborn and stick on me. Loosen that up a little more. Okay, we're going to push that fan all the way to the other side. The shaft. We're going to push this all the way to the case, then I'm going to bring her back about a sixteenth to an eight and tighten her down. So that when the motor's running and the play wants to go that way, you're not going to hit the case. We'll do the same thing on the other side. This is side A. Slip that on there. Push the shaft all the way to the other side. Push the fan up to the case. And we'll come back 16th to an 8th. We'll tighten that down. Okay, we'll put our covers back on.
couple of screws on each side. Flip around. Want to make sure you got your fins on your exhaust side like this, so if they're scooping. That's why you don't want to you don't want to mix them one side or the other. You're going to be you're not going to be working very well. So put this last cover back on. lay it down put the one screw in last screw last screw here okay Got it all put back together. Now we want to check. We want to double check, make sure that that when the motor comes this way with that plate, that you're not hitting the case. You're not hitting this cover. It's not hitting the cover and it's not hitting the case, so you know you've got it adjusted properly. Alright, now we'll see how she works. Put a couple of these little buggers on here. Plug her in. As you can see, she works pretty good. You move a lot of air at the little sucker. Well, that didn't sound good. Obviously, I'm going to have to readjust. Yeah, I got a little close on that side. I'll have to readjust that. Anyway, that's how you take them apart, clean them, put them back together. The next part of the video, I'll show you what I actually needed to use it for. Okay, now I will show you the reason for that motor rebuild you saw earlier. As you can see, I'm getting a bathroom remodel done here. It's a very small bathroom. There's the motor in the window there. Get up here so you can see. What I did was, as you could, I pulled down this sash glass here and I cut some cardboard to fit across the window and cut it out for the exhaust. Uh, the whole reason for this project was I had gone to about every major store in town this last weekend to try and find one of those, you know, you got two double fans and you expand the sides out and you close your window and that uh, exhausts your room out. And of course nobody has anything like that this time of year. So I used this motor, you saw me rebuild and the reason behind that was I didn't want the mud dust to be pulled into the uh, the attic fan exhaust so I disconnected that and hooked this up it's got about the third coat of mud on right now so he's going to be doing some sanding here in the morning but got a little tub here and shower he's going to put some tiles in guy does excellent work. Let's plug this fan in here so you get an idea. That little puppy pulls the air pretty good. A little sign here you've seen is uh, remove insulation. I've got these little uh, 
insulation to put in to keep the cold air out when it's not being ran. So there's the project. The reason for the motor. Okay, this segment of the video is an update showing the progress on my bathroom remodel. The shower towels are in place, as well as the flooring, the door, and much of the wall paint. Okay, my original intention was not to showcase the remodel, but rather the blower rebuild that I'm using in the window. The, the blower evacuates the drywall dust so well that my contractor would like one for himself. If anybody out there knows what this small blower may have came out of, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Let's see, Amazon has a variety of these similar blowers that, are, that may also work, so he may have to go that route. But anyway, from here, I will just show progress pictures to completion of my bathroom and bring this uh, video to a conclusion. I am real happy with the quality of work that my contractor is doing. His name is Mike Grossi of Concept Construction out of Palmer, Nebraska. He is a turnkey operator. He does it all from start to finish. Thanks for watching.